turning to our Washington Bureau now. New eligibility requirements for federal food assistance and health care are up for debate in Congress. Reporter Jackie DeFusco joins us live from our Washington Bureau now this morning. Uh, so Jackie, what's at stake in the plan passed by House Republicans? Hey, good morning, Tom. Well, the proposal we're talking about here could impact access to SNAP and Medicaid. And it's just one part of the GOP plan to pay back existing government bills and cut spending, which passed in the House earlier this week. The bill is passed. Tucked in to the GOP's plan to raise the debt ceiling, expanded work requirements for food stamps and other federal assistance programs. To get SNAP currently, able-bodied adults under the age of 50 without dependent children generally need to work or attend a training program for at least 20 hours per week. Failing to do so can get you kicked off of benefits after three months. Now Republicans are trying to expand that requirement to those 55 and under. Work requirements worked. Caseloads dropped and families moved into the workforce and left the cycle of dependency. A nonpartisan analysis estimates the change would cause about 275,000 people, on average, to lose SNAP benefits each month, concerning advocates. This is a time limit and it has nothing to do with whether or not somebody has labor market difficulties, whether or not they're searching for a job, whether they're willing to work, and taking the food away from them does absolutely nothing to improve their job prospects. The House Republican plan would add similar new requirements for certain Medicaid recipients. It could cause roughly 1.5 million adults to lose federal funding for their health care coverage, says the Congressional Budget Office. Both proposals face an uphill battle in the Senate, where many Democrats are refusing to negotiate the debt ceiling if it's tied to other GOP demands like work requirements. They're taking the position that unless they get their way in the budget, America will default on its, on its bills. That's a catastrophe. There'll be enormous collateral damage. For Republican leadership, pointing the finger yourself, at President Joe yourself, Biden. He's putting the American economy in jeopardy by his lack of action. Now he should sit down and negotiate. Now, even if these new work requirements for SNAP and Medicaid don't make the cut in this debt ceiling standoff, the debate really is not going anywhere. For instance, uh, several members of the GOP want to go further to cut spending in this area, while some Democrats want to essentially completely eliminate these time limits for SNAP eligibility. Something to watch on the campaign trail. Tom? Well, speaking of the election, uh, Republicans point out President Joe Biden supported work requirements in the past. Is that true? Yeah, well, looking back in the Senate archives, quite a long way, then-Senator Joe Biden was, in fact, among the Democrats who supported a sweeping welfare reform bill back in the late 1990s under the Clinton administration. However, it appears his stance has evolved since then, the White House now arguing that these work requirements are rigid and burdensome, and in practice, they say, they can result in some high-need people falling through the cracks. Tom, back to you.